Hi, do you remember when I broke my cell phone by my homemade hand cranked charger? Turning much harder now. Oh no, 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 no! Now I want to fix my phone. My suspicion is that I blew up the chip that's responsible for charging and monitoring the battery. And cell phones are generally so compact that I really have little hope of fixing it. But I have the following plan. <laughs> Open the cell phone without breaking anything. Where the f are those Phillips screws? Try to turn it on and retrieve all the data available. Find and identify the broken chip. Order new part and replace it. Put the phone back together and it would work like a charm. Alas. Reality is much too far from fiction. I have little hope. How do you open this thing anyways? Ah, this phone just opens with brute force. I'm well familiar with that. Let's do it. Whoa, everything is well glued in here, even the battery. It's like performing a brain surgery on someone who had a fatal stroke. You know there is no chance of survival, but you want to open the head because you like to see the human brain. You sicken me. By the way, have you ever had a brain sandwich? The texture is kind of like booger, but the taste is out of this world. Let's check the battery. The label says it's 3.8 volts. Okay, it's not dead, but it's undercharged. It can't turn on the cell phone, and I can't charge it either. So I'm going to solder some wires to the power lines and power it from my power supply. There is no room for error here and I have to connect everything back together. Can you imagine? First connector, fourth connector, fifth connector, seventh connector. I set my power supply to 4.2 volts so my cell phone thinks it's a charged battery. Oh boy, time to connect it up. Ready? Ow! Oh, Look at that. It's drawing one amp from my power supply. Obviously something is shorted in there. Have to open it up again. Did you know that you could check some things beforehand so you wouldn't have to go through trouble of putting everything together? Now if something is shorted and draws a lot of current, it gets quite hot. So it's easy to find it by tracing the source. You could either touch all the components and find the source painfully, or you can say hello to my little friend. Oh, too close. It's a Seek thermal camera. It's actually pretty cool. You plug it into your smartphone and it shows you a thermal image of everything that's in front of it. So I'm going to connect my motherboard to the power supply again and look at it with my thermal camera. Looking at the thermal image, you can see that this side of the board is getting quite hot. Which is something under this shield. Feels like I'm just digging a deeper grave. Look at this, it's like the entire city of New York in here. Let's see if my thermal camera can figure out what's broken. Obviously the heat is coming from that corner of the board. I wonder what it is. <laughs> How hot is it? Wow, 135 degrees Celsius? So this black chip is broken and judging by the number of inductors around it, I assume it's the main power supply for the board. I took this picture, zoomed and enhanced. It's quite easy to remove the broken chip using my trusty hot air station. It has a hot air gun that blows very hot air. That's why I call it the Trump. Trump seems to be blowing pretty hard now. Stupid Trump. And the chip easily comes off. Wow. Just look at this. I checked online and this part is not easily available in single quantities. It's a magical part. It has 16 different regulators, a battery charger and a bunch of other circuits. In 5mm by 5mm area, it packs 155 pins under the BGA package. BGA stands for Barrel Grid Array and it yells there is no f***ing way I can change it at home. I would try it though, but I guess at some point you have to cut your losses and move on. This is gone. But maybe I can salvage something. Oh, I know. Hi, today I'd like to make a robot. The first thing you have to do is break your dad's toothbrush. This is what we need. 
a toothbrush, a cell phone vibrator, a coin cell battery, a switch, and some wires. A cell phone vibrator is a DC motor with imbalanced load. When it turns, it shakes and vibrates. You need to connect things together like this. Have an adult to help you put things together. Is that my toothbrush? Focus! Okay. And now we'll hot glue the circuit onto the back of the toothbrush. Ow! Don't be a baby! And now you turn it on. Yay! Yeah. Oh yeah! Go! You call this a robot? It's much better than the cell phone you fixed. 